Hi! I'm Miss Hannah from the Highland Park Public Library and welcome to Library in Your Living Room. I'm really excited to show you today's program, Dinosaur Fossil Pictures. So fossils are the remains of plants or animals that lived a really, really long time ago, like dinosaurs. Fossils can usually be found inside of rocks, but sometimes they're found in other materials like ice or tar. And paleontologists are special scientists who hunt for fossils and then take them back to laboratories and study them. So if you like dinosaurs and fossils, a paleontologist would be a really good job when you grow up. Um, so bones are the body parts that are usually left behind and then make the shapes that eventually turn into fossils. And that's because bones are really hard and the hard parts of the body last a lot longer than the softer parts do. So um, when paleontologists look at fossils, they're usually looking at impressions of old bones. And we can use these fossilized bones to sort of guess what dinosaurs might have looked like when they walked the earth. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make some um, dinosaur shapes. And then we're going to um, use pasta to put bones onto our dinosaur shapes. And then they'll kind of look like fossils. So the supplies that you're going to need are a piece of paper, something to write with, a pair of scissors, some glue, and then some um, dry, flat pasta. I'm going to use linguine because it's a pretty good pasta for um, gluing onto paper. But if you don't have pasta, that's OK. Um, I've also done this project with um, toothpicks or Q-tips um, or drinking straws too work really well. So lots of options to make your bones. All right, so um, here is the first shape that I made. This is the head and neck of an apatosaurus. Apatosauruses are those long necked dinosaurs. So I made my hand into a C shape like this and then put it down on the paper. And then I used a white crayon to trace the shape that my hand made. And I'm making these shapes with my hand because that's all I have in my house are my hands. <laughs> but um, if you have a dinosaur toy that you wanna trace, or if you have a picture of a dinosaur that you wanna trace, those would also be really good options to make a fossil picture. But I'm gonna use my hand, and if you wanna use your hand, that's okay too. So for a dinosaur head, it'll be a C shape. And then I cut out that C shape. And here's what it looks like all cut out. Now a lot of a paleontologist's job is guessing. So I used my pasta to guess where I thought the bones might be on an apatosaurus's head and neck. And here's what I came up with. Here's my guess. So I've got some neck bones down here and then some more bones for a mouth. And then I have a couple bones going back and forth to be um, like the head of the apatosaurus. Right, next, I'm gonna show you a T-Rex foot. So T-Rexes only had three toes on their foot, which is really crazy. We have five, but a big old T-Rex only has three. Go figure. So here's the shape that I made with my hand. Um, so I grouped my fingers into three groups like this. And then I laid it down on the paper and traced it. This is kind of a hard shape to make with your hands. So if you can't do this, you can also make three fingers this way and then trace that. So after I cut out the um, three-toed T-Rex foot, it looked like this. And then on the other side, I glued some pasta to make the bone shapes. So each little toe of the T-Rex has a bunch of bones in it. And then I put some bones at the bottom for the foot part. I also have a full body dinosaur that I want to show you. This is a Stegosaurus. You might know Stegosauruses. They're the ones that have the um, spikes that go all down its back. So here's the shape I made. I put my hand like this. My thumb is gonna be the Stegosaurus's head. And then I put my pinky out this way for the tail. 
And then my three fingers in the middle, those are gonna be the back of the stegosaurus with the spikes. Here's what the shape looks like all cut out. And then here is where I think the bones might have been. I put three triangles at the top for the spikes. And then I also put some ribs on the stegosaurus body. And you actually have ribs too. You might be able to feel them on other side, either side of your tummy. Those are where your ribs are. And stegosaurus also had ribs, I think. My last dinosaur shape is one that I just made up. This is a Miss Hannahsaurus. It's not a real dinosaur, but I named it after myself. So I made my hands into a claw like this, and then I traced that shape. I cut it out so it looks like this. And then I put the bones wherever I wanted because this is my dinosaur that I invented. So those are some really great shapes to get you started for your very own dinosaur fossil pictures. You can make up your own shapes with your hands. You can ask a grown-up to um, help out, um, and you could trace their hands. Or like I said, you can also trace a picture or a toy dinosaur too. If you want to learn more about dinosaurs and fossils, we have some really great resources on our website, hplibrary.org. I would probably suggest Scholastic Go or National Geographic Kids. Those have some really great science articles and videos. Um, I also want to tell you about Perfect Picks. Um, that's on our website too. If you go to Perfect Picks, you can um, ask us to pull books on a certain topic like dinosaurs or fossils or um, whatever you want, really. <laughs> um, and then we'll try to find those books in the library and then we'll let you know when you can come and get them. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, be sure to check out hplibrary.org for more library in your living room programs. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, stay safe and wash your hands.